I came because I was seeking deeper spiritual meaning in my life, and um, this is a perfect setting for it. You can feel the spirit surrounding you. Uh, the people here are very embracing, and you can feel the embrace of the spirit around you when you're here, which allows for an opening of your heart, an opening of your spirit, to go deeper and embrace the love that is present all around us. What brought me to Still Point was actually a, a journey that I've been on in trying to discern um, if I should pursue spiritual direction. And I had um, recently got involved with a spiritual director and through that became aware of this program and others. And because it was local for me, um, I decided to come to Still Point. And I came to Ghost Ranch the first time just to look around and discovered how wonderful it was and then came for a church retreat a few uh, months ago and learned about Still Point and um, this first course that I was very interested in learning about spiritual journeys and it has not disappointed me. It's been a wonderful, wonderful experience and uh, lots of time to really be with God, a lot of time to be with others, um, to learn a lot more about myself, and to enjoy this sacred place. All the people who come here are already on a spiritual journey, and that, in a sense, would be a given. They wouldn't be here otherwise. But what this program does is enable you to explore new directions, new paths, new ways to follow on one's own individual spiritual journey, but also working with others, finding out how it is in community that we can find our deepest selves. So this has been a week of, of great joy, of great depth, sometimes tears. Uh, it's been, there's a real sense of vulnerability that comes from being and living with each other for this time and talking and sharing and learning and reading with each other. My name is Kayla Bonniewell. I'm a United Church of Christ pastor from Rochester, Minnesota. I'm here for the spiritual journey um, through Still Point at Ghost Ranch. This is my first week and experience with the program. Um, I'm experiencing a lot of contemplative practices, wonderful relationships forming, um, a lot of listening time, a lot of times to um, ask questions, and times of discernment. So I'm gaining a lot this week. So I have um, been truly blessed by being here and uh, almost feel like the time is way too short. I could spend an eternity here just, again, feeling the embrace of the eternity of stars and, and uh, nature and the people that are, again, pouring out their love to you. What I have learned, um, that is a loaded question. Mm -hmm. I think this week has broadened my horizons in many ways expose me to things and um, terminologies, vocabularies, practices that I've never um, experienced before. So it, it's been challenging, it's been stretching, it's been enriching, um, and I highly recommend it. And what a week it's been. It's been a wonderful week filled with all kinds of sharing, all kinds of learning, all kinds of deepening and, and being enriched. Um, so I hope sometime uh, you can also uh, participate with something like this to be able to really embrace uh, the love that is for all of us. Uh, part of it is, is where we are. These breathtaking vistas so familiar to Georgia O'Keeffe um, give us a sense of the spaciousness of the soul. It gives us a sense of the closeness of God in God's creation. So being in fellowship, being in this space, all of it has contributed to a remarkable week that I'm sure will linger with me for a long, long time.